Hey everybody, this is Chad. I was doing some work in my sump, cleaning up my uh, skimmer and a whole bunch of other stuff. Getting ready to put the new Spectre Pure reactors in and just thought I'd get out the old uh, microscope and uh, take a couple of videos of some microscopic things. Um, before I finish my maintenance and uh, I spilled some water on this lid so I decided just to grab what I could um, so here's one video and uh, you can see if you can figure out what that is so I've placed the specimen under the microscope and I think it's really fascinating uh, to me to see details in things that you just cannot see full-sized and you could see these spikes and uh, appendages and this movement that you're seeing that's uh, the creature itself moving around inside the specimen container and I think it's obviously if you have seen the uh, title of the video you, uh, you know what this is um, but it's fun to kind of try and figure out what things are and to realize size-wise these are details that you simply you cannot see with the unaided eye and seeing this creature full-sized these are actually details that I it's funny I should have expected to see but didn't even think about and now that I see them obviously I I realize that uh, of course this is what I would be seeing and uh, it's what one would expect so what we are seeing is tube feet and, and they uh, trying to find something to grasp onto and uh, there's all sorts of them and then the little spikes are simply part of the morphology I'm sure they have a function uh, but maybe to hold the creature within a rock or to protect it from predators I mean, get a little focus on a different part so you can see the tube feet a little better anyway so I just thought I'd share that with you I'll have some other microscope videos pretty soon so let's talk about this creature a little all right well if you guessed the where can you see this tube feet of a mini brittle you are correct that's what that was and uh, it's amazing to see those things uh, microscopic and what they can do. Uh, just in case you wonder, these are special slides that I have and they're just discs with a, a lid so this mini brittle is actually going to be fine and we'll let him out. He's in water and I'll let him out and he'll live the rest of his life all happy so I don't uh, like to kill things for my little microscope hobbies. This is a fairly good sized mini brittle star that is probably about as big as they get. You can see in the way they look, and the way they're shaped, which we call morphology, they are just the same as the larger mini brittles. So the now that I'm getting corals and things in the new tank, all the little creatures are beginning to pop up and uh, come out. And we'll get more and more of that as time goes by. This is a uh, good example of how brittle stars come out. I just finished scraping the tank and you can see they're everywhere. And they come out and they wave their little arms and collect the detritus and algae and whatever else that's been scraped or loosened in the tank. And they inhabit every nook and cranny that you have in a tank so that you'll see many many of them and as you can see from the the other video they're not very large and these little feet this is what you you generally see uh, here's one kind of coming out um, you can see his body his disc but anyway what i wanted to show in the, the microscopic version is just to show you that these tiny tiny little things um, there's detail to them that you never get to see. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later.